Here are a few hard facts. Obesity now affects 17% of all children and adolescents in the United States. That's triple the rate in 1980. And if these figures are true, the health risks are also real. Young people who are overweight often lack energy, get out of breath easily, have trouble keeping up with their friends, and feel uncomfortable in their clothes. The possible long-term effects are even more serious. People who are overweight in their youth are more likely to be overweight as adults. And study after study has shown that this puts them at risk for diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, and other diseases. Some doctors are saying obesity will soon rival smoking as a leading cause of preventable deaths in our society. But somehow, for many of us, such messages don't sink in. One reason for this might be that we live in what some people refer to as a toxic environment. Toxic because of its hazardous effects on our health. This environment makes exercising properly and eating sensible, nutritious foods more difficult. For example, drive down most major shopping streets or go to practically any mall and you'll see many if not most of the major fast food chains. They provide an enticing way to eat out cheaply and quickly without the bother of cooking and cleaning up. They also provide an unprecedented access to a poor diet that lacks a proper balance of healthy foods. Not only do we eat out more frequently, but when we do eat out, the portions we're served are much larger than in the past. In 1955, for example, there was only one size for McDonald's fries, 2.3 ounces, or 210 calories. Today, a large portion of fries weighs 5.4 ounces and equals a whopping 500 calories. And McDonald's is hardly alone in this trend. The sizes of everything from candy bars to burgers to sodas has grown in similar proportions. Listen to nutritionist Ellie Krieger. One of the big problems is that we're constantly confronted with huge portions, portions that are often double what our parents and what our grandparents have had in the past. And there's a study that shows that when you have a large portion of food in front of you, you tend to eat more. If you have a small plate in front of you, you tend to eat less. And actually, you don't feel more satisfied eating more food. It's just simply having that much in front of you makes you eat more. Amazing things can happen when you taste Reese's Puffs. Another difference today is advertisers now apply subtle and not so subtle pressure to eat unhealthy foods by equating their products with being popular and having fun. There's hardly anything you can do throughout your day that doesn't involve food, whether you go to the ballpark, the movie theater, out with your friends, Whatever it may be, there's food constantly around and there's constant barrage of advertising encouraging you to eat. And there's another side to this. We not only eat more than in the past, we're less physically active. Often, when we're happily gorging on pizza, we're also sitting in front of the television. Eight to 18 year olds now spend an average of four and a half hours a day sitting in front of the TV. And that doesn't include the time they spend at their computers or playing video games. If you add in all that time, it comes to over seven and a half hours a day. So what's a kid to do? Well, one thing we can do is simply be aware of the dangers that we're exposed to in our environment and make more informed choices about how we live. And a good place to begin is with this word, calories. Calories are simply a way of measuring the amount of energy in food and the energy released when our bodies use food.